All right, I'm going to show you how to make this store in SketchUp. So let's start out and go to File and New. And I will not save my changes there. There's a new area for SketchUp. I start out by getting my toolbars and I make sure my large set is chosen and then I close it. This way I'll have more tools on the side to work with. We're going to start out with a rectangle tool. We're going to make a large rectangle, heading it back toward the green axis, and we're going to set up the rectangle. The next thing we're going to do is use the pencil tool. We'll come over here about this far, and we're going to make sure we're on the red axis. We'll go to the edge, back to the uh, push-pull tool this time. We'll select this area. We're going to raise this up so it's like a building. It is going to be a building. Put it about this high. Now, from here, we're going to take our rectangle tool, and someplace right up along in this area, we're going to make a rectangle. Below that, we'll make another rectangle. Toward the center, this is going to be the double glass doors. We'll make a big window on this side. We'll make another large window on this side. And I think at this point we'll use the push-pull tool and we will pull out this roof. We're going to project it by going down. We're going to pull out and then go to the edge here. This will make it even with the sidewalk. At this point, I think we need to do a couple quick things. Um, I think I'll pay, put a little sign in the window here, make it about this big. Let's go ahead and fill it in so it looks better. Use a paint bucket. From here, we can go with our brick and cladding. Uh, you can choose whichever type brick you want. I'll use this flagstone, and I will do the building. I can do the sides if I want to, but it's up to you how you how you deal with that. The next thing, I want to put some color in here. And I'll do color right on the, the roof in the front. So, since it's a store, I want to make it large, uh, or I should say bright. So, we'll go to some colors. I'll use a, a bright red here. I'll do the same thing underneath. If you prefer a different color, that's fine. And then for the sign, we'll make that a white while we're in colors, or something close to that, maybe a cream or a white, and now we're ready for windows. So let's go ahead and change our material to glass and mirrors. You can choose whichever ones you want. I'll choose the blue, and usually this is a double door, so I'll come right in the center over to here, to the midpoint with the pencil tool, and I'll drop it to here so it looks like I have a double door. Everything's looking pretty good, except I'm going to orbit around a little bit. You can press the O to do that, or press down on your uh, center of your roller on your mouse. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit right here. I think we need to write the word sale right here. So over to my 3D text. And I use a wide Latin because it looks good, but you can use whichever type you want. And I'm going to type in SALE, S-A-L-E, all in capital letters. And I'll click Place. Sometimes it doesn't come in the size you want. So we'll click it one time and go to our Scaling tool. Now I can simply pull it in till it's about the size that I want it to be, use my Movement tool, and I can slide it right up in place. If I want to rotate it, I can also do that. But in this case, I'll just leave it. I'll click my selection tool and then click off of it. Let's look and see what we have. All right, time to zoom out just a little bit. You know what? It might look good if we had somebody on the inside. Uh, before I do that, I think that we will change the sidewalk to maybe a asphalt. So let's go there, maybe some concrete, and we're going to click on that. So now it's been changed. I'm going to hide my area here. Let's use move over and let's add an extra person. We're going to 
click on him, go to edit and copy, edit and paste. We've got another one. Let's add him inside the store so that it looks like there's somebody there shopping. Maybe his twin brother. There we go. That's the start of the store. If you want to add a name, you can go to your 3D text and you can type in the name of the store. You can place it up here if you want to. Deselect it. And we're done. Thanks.